Guys, today I'm going to be telling you about Alberta Advantage Immigration Program. I know most of you must have heard of this, but then today I want to tell you of the newly launched um, expression of interest for Alberta Advantage Immigration Program, which is the AAIP. Yeah, this program is one of the foremost, and uh, I mean, across the whole of Canada. But um, Alberta at the point realized that um, the system wasn't um, yielding the desired result or been in the advantage of the province, so they made some adjustment. And this adjustment which they made, um, first there was a pause in February 2024. And um, by the way, before then, it was um, based on first come, first serve, which means the first people who enter the pool are first considered and invited, okay, before the next set of people who enters the pool. So this becomes very really disadvantageous to the province in the sense that it wasn't addressing the labor market need of the people. And how do I mean by that? Yes, um, maybe the labor market really needs uh, more of horticultures and you know aquacultures, but most people who were in the field could be from the health sectors. So they will be needing to cut from the health sector, right? So that was what happened previously. And you know, they had to take from all the people who were in the pool and to when they've taken the number of people that they need or the number of allocation that the province have, then they could, before they can, you know. So at a point they realized that this wasn't taking care of the um, labor market. There was another pause in, so they resumed, uh, I think in July, and they paused again in August. When they realized that, um, they resumed in June and paused again in August, when they realized that it, the, it needs to be properly addressed, and then they determined to bring out a new expression of interest, which was launched on September 2024. Okay, so there was a post in August in order to um, put all together this measure. So what they do now is, instead of taking on first come, first serve basis, they uh, look at the number of people who apply, and they allocate a score to them, and depending on the market need, labor market need of the province, they um, select people from the pool, which means if they need 50 doctors and 80 nurses and maybe 10 aquacultures, they, they have to ensure that the formula is being made in such a way it's going to take this number of needs from the market, not necessarily if you are from computer science and they do not need computer science, even if you have the highest score, you may not be picked. So they are looking at the market need. Yeah, there are um, currently areas where there are high market need in areas like tourism. There's very high, high tourism and hospitality. There's high market need in the health sector. There's very high market need and a number of other sectors which I will not take through, or you know, now, but then you can go through the links I will drop to see all the needs. So you can see the tier uh, which are being required. Most of these are in tier three. You know, real, before then it used to be NOC, but now it is tier. So you can look at it and see um, the ones which are highly in demand because I'm going to be dropping um, the links. Yeah, if you look at this, this is tourism and hospitality stream. So for the Alberta um, Advantage Immigration pilot, okay, there are a number of streams that uh, makes up this AAIP and they, those are Tourism and Hospitality Stream, Alberta Opportunity Stream, Alberta Expression Entry um, Stream, Rural Renewal Stream. So when we open them, you can see details of all these streams and the requirements for you to become a member or to uh, eligible for this stream. But then before then, I will tell you something. For you to be qualified, you need to have an expression of interest um, account, okay? If you don't have an account for expression of interest, I mean profile, then you will not be eligible. And your profile must be at least five months old. So this is the reason why after listening to this video now and after watching this video, just go and create an expression of entry profile. Well, for you to be able to create an expression of entry profile, there are two major things which um, will guide you. Okay, well, let me say three, you should be at least 45 years of age at most, and you should have an English language proficiency test, which, um, you know, then you should also have um, 
a what's called an evaluation credential evaluation so if you have these three things you are good to go so you could also watch my video where i've talked about how to do your credential evaluation um for canada and even for australia so you will get information that will help you and you can also look up um english language processing tests you need like ilts and um thoughtful self you know others english language or even french language it doesn't really mean only english it could be english or french or both so if you have both then you have more advantage so those are things you need to do for you to be eligible to apply for i mean to the alberta immigration i'm oh, sorry um, alberta advantage immigration pilot okay yeah so those are um, some information i would like to give to you ahead of time before i take time to go through my screen and give you a little more information but before then uh there are a few things i would like to mention uh, which would actually help you to um you know achieve your migration dream to canada and this, what I'm telling you now is quite important. Don't think it's just maybe some kind of story. A lot of people are moving to Canada through the, um, you know, through express entry and again through the Alberta Advantage Immigration Pilot. I mean, apart from places like Toronto, like um, British Columbia, I think Alberta is one of the best places you could, I mean, province you could ever think of in Canada, right? Yeah, so now I want to tell you the, Things you need to do, do and how you can apply for PR through the, um, you know, in Alberta with the AAIP um, expression of interest system. The number one thing you need to do is to fill out the expression of interest, okay? So you have to fill out this expression of interest, which is more or less like self declaration where you're going to put in all your information and confirm that, yes, indeed, I, can, I have all these. Um, informations so once you do that the next thing you would want to do is they are going to score you based on certain information which you feel and there are a number of things which um determines or uh, factors uh, you know that determines your score they are like age education work experience and language skills okay so there are other things like connections and about like having a relative um you know who probably would answer, answer the same sonnet, or you have an education in Alberta and all that. So those are other things that could actually improve your score. So the next thing, that, um, number three thing is ranking. Okay, they are going to rank you, you know, um, all the expression of interest are actually placed into a pool where they are ranked based on, um, you know, the scores which are assigned. And based on that, um, applicants with higher score will have a better chance to of being selected in you know the draw or subsequent draws so according to that they will select you and number four step is um we, even if they don't select you the number 14 is that every month you have to look up because there is a regular draw um after february they decide to do draw every month until they post in april so now also they are making draw there is a calendar for draw on september in october and in december okay and they still have a number of allocations which are still left which i'll be showing you in this video so those allocations they need to fill it up before the end of the year so which means there are still good things about and you know the worst thing the good thing about it is that um out of i just checked the number of people who have applied and number of allocations it is as about 50 percent which means there are very high chances for people who are in the pool to get selected like about 50 percent chance for everyone so that's a lot right yeah then number fifth um step which i can say is the last step is for you to get an invitation to apply so once you have been selected you get an invitation to apply from the province um this invitation to apply is like um, asking you to submit a full application you know um for one of the worker stream under the aaip so whichever of the stream which you have applied to they will give you an invitation to apply for that stream and once you receive it you go ahead and apply for your what's it called for your um express entry okay i mean for your visa now there are a number of things on uh, how they are being scored okay but i may not break down this um all of them i may not break them down to the very list so you also need to click on the link which i will 
drop for you to see more information, okay, on how this is being done. So, um, number one thing is the age, okay? Um, the age group of 21 to 34 has the highest score, okay? And they use, get a score of um, the maximum score, which is 12. And the next is um, 21 to 34 years, which actually um, does not get, I, I think, um, just, sorry, 21 to 34, already I said, yeah, I get 12 points. But the least is for those who are age 51 and older. So even if you're 51 and older, you can apply, but you're going to get zero points, okay? Yeah, so that is um, the least score. But the maximum is 12, which is from 1 to 34. Once you're more than 34, you're going to drop to 10. So you lose two points. So that is how it works. Next thing is education. If um, those who have masters or PhD and the highest score. So if you have master or PhD, you have and the highest score. Okay. But if you have only bachelor's, you earn a little lower than them. I think five points different um, 15 and 10. Yeah, for bachelor's is 10 and master's and PhD is 15. And um, for if you are trained in Alberta as a you know, you have a degree in Alberta, you earn additional 10 points to the point which you have. So if you have a bachelor's degree in Alberta, you earn additional 10. If you have a PhD or master's, you earn additional 10, which could take you to 25. So that means a lot, right? And um, for work experience is the next thing which is being considered. If you have um, um, good work experience, I think five years and above, is it? Uh, eight years, yeah, eight years and above. I have to check it out. Um, it's been a long time I checked this. So you're gonna get ten points, which is the maximum. But if you have less than that, you're gonna get about five points or thereabouts. So when you have more work experience, but then you will be able to claim your work experience. You, if you say you have a work experience, you'll be providing the payment slip, you know, letter of recommendations from the company, um, employment letter, you know, all those kind of information. Um, experience certificate to show that you really work in that company. And the next thing is language skill. If you have an English language or a French language process, you're going to get high score. And for this Alberta um, Advantage Immigration Pilot, if you have your first language as French, you have more opportunity and more score than when you have your first language um, as what? Um, as um, English. So this is just to encourage uh, because some of these places they complain and they say that, yeah, the French speaking. Um, Provinces complain that they are being marginalized. So, in order to grant them more opportunity um, to get people who are from French speaking countries, they decided to put in some of these things to support them. So, the next thing is family ties in Alberta. So, if you have a family um, relative in Alberta, you get an additional 10 points. And job offer in Alberta is also um, something great, which will give you an additional six points. And if, if you just get a job offer and you write, um, they're going to give you. An invitation to apply and lastly is, is um, depending on your occupation and licensing for example if you're working regulated occupation like healthcare engineering and you know for example and law okay and you hold the necessary licenses in Alberta you receive additional points so these things that could help you to move into Alberta even as soon as um, sooner than you can imagine. So just to recap, um, you know, there are things you could do to improve your scores. And these are the things I would like you to take you through um, so that you also know what to do. Should you be preparing to move to Alberta? Some of the things that could actually help you to prepare your scores, like, um, your scores, like I've already said, them is your language processing. So you can write IELTS or CELPIP or even TOEFL and you target to get a higher score. If you get a higher score, then you have higher chances. If you get a lower score, then your chances will reduce. So if you get 7.0, you can actually work to get 8.0. If you get 8.0, you have a better score. Okay, and um, your work experience is also very important. If you could get a work experience of about 8 years, you claim the highest score. And if you also get a job offer in Alberta, you get a score, but if you get a job offer in Alberta rural area, then you're going to be getting much higher also score, okay, additional points. And if you study in Alberta, you get additional 10 points, like I've said. And uh, having done this, you need to ensure that you have um, accurate expression of interest or mission. And once you've done that, chances are that you're going to be moving to 
Alberta, okay? Yeah, so I will just take you back a bit. You can see um, information like a tourism and hospitality stream, Alberta opportunity stream, Alberta express entry stream, and uh, rural renewal stream, okay? These other things are also other stream like dedicated healthcare pathway, rural entrepreneur stream, um, graduate entrepreneur stream, farm stream, foreign graduate um, entrepreneur stream. These are all different streams in Alberta. But like I am being, um, I'm just um, capping it on this for tourism and hospitality stream. So you can hit up here actually to see more information about this. And the next is Alberta Opportunity Stream, Express Entry Stream. So now if you hit up this, you're going to see more information about this. So you can actually hit it up to see those who are eligible. Just you will be needing to hit this eligibility to see what makes you qualify for the, you know, for this very stream of for tourism and hospitality. So you don't, if your profile don't match this, it means that it's not for you. You have to check the next until you see which of them matches your profile. But remember, like I said earlier on, there are a lot of um, um, you know, openings for tourism and hospitality, healthcare sector, engineering, and um, you know, uh, what again? I think ICT, yeah, in Alberta. These are all streams which are all open in Alberta. And if you're applying any of these streams and you've got a fairly good score, then you have very high chances of moving to Alberta. So guys, I'm going to wrap it up here and I hope to see my new video. I hope this video is good enough for you. And if you think it's good, just give it a thumbs up and um, hope to see my next video. I will be taking you through other opportunities which are on real time. And do not forget that very soon, there will be a draw. So why not create a profile if you don't have one? If you have one again already, oh, congratulations. And try to create your profile and do your expression of interest and be hopeful to be selected so guys i'm gonna wrap it up here and i wish you the best of luck cheers